Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Photos Modeling. Tonight we have none other than Errol T. Claxton, New Jersey's, one of New Jersey's designer, famous designers. Famous? Famous. You are famous, Errol T. Claxton. I mean, besides doing fashion, dancing, you travel around the world. I mean, what else can you ask for? Paris? Florida, music conference, I mean, videos, Whitney, who, I mean, who else, who, el who else is it? Um, well, really, actually, um, first my first life, I was a dancer. My second life, I've been blessed to become um, a designer. I'm struggling just like everybody else. Um, that's why I don't consider myself famous. Um, I just want the simple things in life, and that is um, a peace of mind, my own little business, and anything, everything, and anything else comes second. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Let me ask you one question. Yes, you are doing the interview. <laughs> You've been designing for how long, and how did you get started, and when did it first hit you to become a designer? Um, actually, I've been designing, I would say, at least about 12, 13 years. But professionally, I would say a good five, five, six years. Um, my inspiration, actually, um, when I design, I love texture. I love texture. I noticed that about your book. <laughs> yes, you have a yes. For textures. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I noticed that you do like to work with a lot of, um, how can I say it, prints. Yes. Uh, yes. You do. You, you work with a lot of uh, full body texture. Yes. Yes. And um, a lot of your things seem to have a rough, a roughness to it, mm -hmm. but soft at the right. same time. Um, it's it's more uh, vintage. Oh, okay. um, vintage. I, I love the vintage era because, um, which most of the younger generation, um, they would say uh, back in the day or old school. Okay. But uh, for me, that's history. And history always repeats itself, you know. So um, on top of that, I love to, I love to design um, uh, with, 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 with movements, you know what I mean? Like... My, my muses are women, strong black women, or just strong women, period. Um, like my mother, like my friend Carmen, my sister, um, you, Lana, Miss Lana. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, you know, uh, a couple of the models that, I, that I've met, I have the pleasure of meeting. Um, they look up to me, but they not, don't know that I'm really actually looking up to them. Really? Yeah. That's a beautiful I, thing. I, I really am. I what really do. Let me ask you one other question. Uh, do you have any particular models that you like to work with? I mean, is there a particular <coughs> size girl? Who is the Earl T. Claxton woman? Well, <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, I would say that for me, I like to design for the sizes 0 to 26. Wow. Because for me, Every woman is beautiful, no matter how big you are, or no matter how, or no matter how small you are. Um, it's the, it's really the inside that counts, and whatever I don't give I don't care if you're beautiful or what society say you're beautiful on the outside. But what happens is your beauty comes from within. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. And um, that's how I come up with my little collections. Besides no. your designing, and mm -hmm. I know Lorna, she has some things she'd like to ask you as well, mm -hmm. but the artist that you worked with, uh, I remember seeing you in a video, of course oh. I'm going to go there, <laughs> dancing, you had a red hair at that time, yeah. and you were dancing for women. Are you sure it wasn't blonde? Was it blonde? It was, was blonde hair. Blonde? Yeah. <laughs> it was blonde hair. We were dancing at the Sony studio in the rain, and all of the dancers got sick with the flu. Wow. <laughs> yes. What other artists have you particularly worked with as well? And have you done fashion for any of these artists? Um, yeah, I have. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's like a blast from the past. Um, 
I've worked with like uh, a lot of dance artists, uh, Barbara Tucker. Um, I traveled with the group Black Box, um, Shivani and them, um, which was a great pleasure. Um, I had so many people that, I, I mean, you know, that part of my life, I, I just kind of blocked out. Well, how could you block history out? I thought, speaking of vintage, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Blast from the past. Mm -hmm. Remembering your past mm -hmm. direct you to a better future. It really does. It really does, but... Um, okay, can we cut? <laughs> they just put me on a spot and now I'm sweating. <laughs> no, no, it's a very good question, but you can keep rolling because we're going to break this down. And I'm, I'm sick of this mic here. You need the mic though. What, 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 okay. What, what happens is a lot of the artists that I've danced with in, in the past, they have taught me what it is to be an artist. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even down to the, 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 the road managers, the dancers, the choreographers, the designers, um, the technicians, the light crew, all of them, I have grasped something from them. And I try to use that and incorporate that into my business and my designing. And, what, and, and, and I can't understand a lot of times when <clears throat> I put on a show or get invited to a show, you always have designers that are what they call player hating. Player can I say hating. that word? Yes, you can say okay, that word. Okay, is it safe to say that word? Well, what, when Calvin design, do, do, do a, not like Calvin, CK1, remember? Mm -hmm. um, Let's go with Isaac Mizrahi. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do one better. Let's go with Carl Lackerfield. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's player ha hating amongst them? <clears throat> um, actually, I'm going to be honest. I don't think that there, uh, there are people who are that wants to be in their shoes. But when you're in the Chitlin circuit, okay, which most of us are, I don't understand that when you're in a chitlin circuit in Jersey, everybody has a certain status. Okay. I grew up on Tyrone Chablis. Okay. I grew up on Donna, Donna Burr, Calvin Gordon, um, Douglas Says, Emmanuel, Angel Claudio, Vernon Moore. All these people I looked up to. Okay. Some of them I had the pleasure of working with. Okay. Then I, then others I became closer friends with. Right. And then I really actually saw the bigger picture. But in the business of what we do right. as designers, right. um, competition is there. But constant. it's a difference between competition. It's, it's a difference between backstabbing competition and friendly competition. Okay. Remember, when you're a dancer, dancers, if, I, if let's say for Lorna, if Lorna and I were going out for the part, that was my friend. I would encourage her, she would encourage me. But we knew the made the best man win. I would not chop up some glass very fine and throw it up into her shoes, <laughs> and then she'd be all turned out. You see what I'm saying? Which a lot of designers do. You feel like the designers do that to each other? Yeah, and instead of helping, most of the designers, and I'm not saying you from the old school, it's okay. but most of the designers should be teaching. That's how history is kept. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what I made my obligation is anything that I learned from from anyone, I try to teach. You, and you had a label at one point called Gripper Gear. When you first came out, I believe, right? Yes, my This was your beginning. I, uh, wink, wink, Newton. You had the Gripper Gear label. Yes, yes. That was when you first started your company, <laughs> right? Yes. From there, you had all of those same people that you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. who came to witness your Gripper Gear. Yeah, I know that and it was, one. believe me, it was a, I thought it was excellent, actually, because when you notice designers, when they first come in and put their line out for people to view, they're waiting to see how those other designers are looking at them. Mm -hmm. And I think that we look at it 
with a sense of what am I going to copy from you and you don't realize it. Did you ever take that into consideration? No. Never. Well, you should because the designers know Earl T. Claxton. Mm -hmm. And at this time, what we're going to do, we're going to show three of these models first and look at them to see some of the clothing and styles of this imaginative designer. This is the collection of Earl T. Claxton. Into a room, Lorna. What do you think? What a beautiful outfit I'd wear that. Can you make that for me, Earl? Uh-huh. Well, I'd like to know what inspired you to make this piece? What was the creativity, creative thought behind this? Scraps. That's the title? <laughs> it's called Scraps. <laughs> Honestly, um, I was doing a show and I was sitting in the basement and I said, oh my gosh, I need to come up with something. And if you take that off, it's just a square piece. And what I did was I just took a top piece of a, a gown that I made for a client and took the bottom part from another gown that I made for a client and just came up with a top. Um, my thing is simplicity, but other people think it's not simple, but it really is. It's absolutely excellent. Now, do you have to, uh, let's say, for instance, when you get into this particular garment, is it a lot of work? No. All you do is just turn it to the side, put your arm in, and wrap it around. Here's the next piece coming up. This looks really lovely. It's a skirt set, isn't it? Yeah. And what will create, made you create this one? Um, texture. Texture, that's all I can say is texture. On top of most women, like herself, Danielle, um, nowadays everybody's so worried about their size. I love her And size. she's beautiful. Yeah, she I is. She's beautiful. And I think that more women should start dressing like that. And stop trying to act like, you know, you can afford Versace. We are your next Versace. <laughs> well, and, and the thing about it is, is that as a full-figured model, I mean, this doesn't even look, this doesn't make her look full-figured. No, so not at all. That's the beauty that. of that outfit. I mean, that's I, she's very beautiful. And on top of it, you can throw it in the washing machine, too. Wow, that's even economical. So it's like travel to go. Fold exactly. it up, ball it in a bag. Fold it up and go. On the plane, exactly. pull it out, and it's on. And it's on. Earl Claxton, sensational. Yeah. This is lovely, just lovely. And I love the way the lights reflect with this particular piece here. It's asymmetric. It's yeah. cut uh, with a handkerchief hemline. Yeah. You got the uh, shawl uh, uh, scoop neckline, a slight back out, giving a halter illusion. Tell me about this. OK, this here was an experimental piece. Because that's a belt, actually, that's holding up the, uh, the dress. A little vintage belt, you know. Something old, something blue, something new. <laughs> something borrowed, uh -huh. something new. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. And that's another piece. Once again, women nowadays, they need to be able to take a garment that's lovely like this, roll it up in their purse, and shake it out, go in the bathroom, and come back out looking fabulous. Wow, Excellent. It's beautiful. Caramel and chocolate together. Mm -hmm. Sensational. The bustier. See that? Crocodile. Is that crocodile? It's um, plastic dial. <laughs> plastic dial? Yeah. Well, you know what? It looks like the authentic real skin. And I bet all of the activists out there who can appreciate something of that nature, you know, natural looking texture, uh, not the actual um, uh, animal itself, but the illusion of the animal, simply stunning.